between Gympie and the Merry Valley have been suspended indefinitely after a Queensland rail report uncovered more major safety concerns. Valley Rattler needs up to $2 million now for a bailout following two derailments. But neither council nor the state government has the money. The historic train trips could be history. It's not a great day both for the volunteers and for the, and for the paid staff and for Gympie. Its tourist icon is off the tracks indefinitely. The Valley Rattler derailed in late September, carrying 102 passengers. An audit found a mechanical failure was to blame, but it's also uncovered serious safety concerns. The train's carriages aren't up to scratch. Its tracks are worn out. We need to uh, get funding available for a major sleeper upgrade, which is 6,000 sleepers. Repairs could cost up to $2 million, a frightening figure for cash-strapped governments. I don't think uh, a bailout of any type is going to address the long-term issues. And I don't know that Council's in a position to do that. $400,000 a year will be saved through sacking the organisation's 10 staff. Come Wednesday, General Manager Jim Walker will be a volunteer. There's probably another 10 or 15 positions out in the Gympie economy that will be pretty heavily affected. Businesses in the Mary Valley will suffer most. The train attracts around 30,000 tourists a year. Sunday uh, lunchtime and Wednesday lunchtime. It, we, I have to cut the, uh, my staff shift. Management will meet with the transport regulator next week. If they can satisfy their requirements, the Rattler could be running again in two months. But it won't be the same. The train could run short shuttles north, but to the south, the valley the train was named after, again, needs a saviour. Michelle Retrie, 7 News.